conclusion that God is speaking of man at such stages when he was not yet man. Lambyaku Sham Maskura also it speaks of a silent world where nobody is mentioned. So when you read Ambatakum Nabata, he raised you as vegetative growth, then you immediately come to the scenario of, a, of life going through a form which cannot articulate, where there is complete silence from the whole globe. There is life, but it cannot express itself, cannot speak, cannot utter anything, no sound. And that is the scenario which the Holy Quran develops. So it is a very vast subject and it would take many, many hours to refer to the verses which speak on evolution and how it took place. The stages which the Holy Quran describes and the Holy Quran also says he created you tebaka, layer after layer after layer. Then the Holy Quran speaks of what is happening in the uterus of, him, of, him, of, of, your, of your mothers. He says, we give you different shapes and uh, different forms in the uterus. In that there, is, there are clues for wise people to study. Now people, are, even non-Muslims are amazed at this reference. No surgery was carried out during the time of Rasulullah and what happened inside the uterus was totally unknown. So, to, to, for the Holy Quran, kafa you savirukum fil arham. These are the words. Look how God gives you different forms and shapes within the, the bellies of your mothers. And the scientists say, the evolutionists, that the embryo of man, right from the beginning till the end when he is delivered as a whole boy or a girl, that embryo go, passes through the entire history of evolution. But in a much quicker format, you know, which takes place very rapidly. So the Holy Quran is so full of these references, for that it will require, as I said, many days of discussion. Okay? <coughs> Please, next. Yes. Assalamu alaikum, sir. Assalamu alaikum. Sir, my question is related to the virgin birth of That's Jesus right. Christ. There is a medical theory that at the time when the sex of the child is determined in the uterus of the mother, um, it is possible that due to some kind of imbalance of hormones, uh, both the female and the male sex organs are, are created. Are created. Mm -hmm. um, and with the same token it's said that Mary was one of those child and thus the self-conception was, was possible uh, which, which, which uh, provides... You see, on that I have already spoken many a time before. The fact is that this or the, there are other possi possibilities as well. But the fact is that this is not just a theory, it is a well-known fact of life that there are some boys and girls who are halfway between boys and girls. Yeah. And then they go to the doctor, to the surgeon and say, they make their choice, make us a girl, make us a boy. How can they make anybody a boy or a girl? Unless the organs were provided by God. And that is exactly what, what they are talking about when they say somebody's sex was changed and he was made a, girl, a boy and somebody's sex was changed and she was made a girl. What they do is they find both the organs together and unless one is removed by operation the other cannot develop fully uh, in the presence of the second organ. So if the female organs are removed and the male organ has left, then they suddenly, because there is no competition, so they suddenly begin, begin to grow uh, normally and then the person becomes a boy. If male organ are rem is removed and female organs are left, then they grow and uh, that becomes a girl. So it is 
also scientifically possible, it cannot be ruled out, that both organs, the organs don't appear outside, they may remain within. Maybe partial organs are there. For instance, that those cells which create sperms, they are developed and the rest is just, you know, it, it, it is uh, in a state of uh, partial death, you know, it, it uh, withers out, let's say. Now, what might have happened, we don't know, but this is a possibility, what I'm t telling you. So when such a person, such a mother, woman, sees a vision, which is extremely exciting, it is possible that that organ, which was already within her, that got activated. And uh, it, uh, you know, discharged itself within the uterus or system, wherever it was. And then the ovum was fertilized. Once it was fertilized and the child begin, began to grow, then according to these scientists, the other organ must die out. So only the female part would remain and uh, the male part would wither out and uh, become extinct. So these are some of the possibilities. But we don't know exactly how it happened. We certainly know it is possible. It is possible in vegetative kingdom, we know <coughs> that some flowers are, are, have both the sexes. It is possible in animal kingdom that self-pollination, like it happens in, in vegetation, uh, vegetative growth, self, uh, you know, this what they call, you know, the sperm of the same, same body uh, goes into the ovum of, the, of that, that animal and uh, it got, gets fertilized. This is possible, the scientists know it happens in the animal kingdom. In the, in the human beings, they have no definite experience no definite record that a girl was in fact uh, you know a, a girl's or girl had two both organs male and female and the male organ fertilized the egg in the girl there is no definite evidence of that except for occasional cases like one which happened in South Africa South America, where a girl reported herself to become to have become pregnant. The mother knew that the girl was chaste, the girl claimed to be chaste, so the mother took her to the doctors and uh, she was admitted in the hospital. All checks were applied and the doctors were amazed to find that the girl was right and uh, she had not met with any man. So a team from American doctors was sent there, and the North American doctors, I mean, and uh, under their care, the child took uh, the, the birth took place, and uh, it was a baby girl which was born, and this matter was reported in many general, general uh, journals, uh, medical journals. Uh, the, the the one I have in mind is was published in Indonesia. And from there, some Amadi sent me the, that a copy of the journal, and uh, this is how it happened. But in the case in the case of that girl, the phenomenon responsible for that birth could only produce girls. There is another complication which we cannot uh, disregard. It is not enough to prove that because it has come to the knowledge of scientists that such birth did take place without the participation of man, so the case of Jesus would be like this. Because they studied the phenomenon and they came out with the answer that it can happen, but if this 
happens in the